We're gonna try a couple things today. This is a little bit in my way. Doing the usual pre-stream tests, I put the volume of the music a little bit up because I noticed in the last stream like this, uh, it was acting up. Uh, everybody seems to already be online. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to work because uh, Restream has a little bit of trouble with uh, YouTube today. So we might have issues with the archives again. You guys gotta tell me if you can't hear the music. Uh, I didn't put the timer on for the audio. Oh, the notes. Okay, good. I'm just gonna... Eventually, I'll figure out how to properly embed music in my stream. Because right now it's literally coming out my computer, which is a little far from the phone, which is why I kind of have to put it louder than what I usually do, so you guys can actually hear it. Just gonna move this on the side real quick so I can have access if I could like not throw everything on the floor that would be that would be great oh, you hold me that uh, this didn't get too crooked did it I guess this is the best I can get. <sighs> We're starting real soon. Uh, okay. It is now the official time, so let's go grab some references. Would you, for the love of... I'm having trouble straightening my camera lately. Oh, good start. I broke my lid. Are we having a return of the curse live stream? It is. Hang on, I'm struggling with my lid. Here I am trying to entertain you guys. And shit's hitting the fan. I 
just want my drawing ship. Ah. All right. Let's see. Nothing too fancy today. Just grabbing some references and drawing what comes to mind. Because decided to make an Asterix live stream, seeing as Uderzo passed away. Last night, You know, the Marios I've been drawing, I'm pretty good at drawing squat men with big noses at this point. Mom is gonna be happy. I don't know if she knows. I guess I'll find out if she knows as soon as I get my own article on Facebook tagged back to me. everything decides to happen at the same time. My poor, poor eraser is all gummy. Just need to rub it off, literally. Hope you guys can hear the music.
don't know if I'll stick to Asterix and Obelix or just go ahead and draw more characters. We'll see when we get there. I want to at least do Asterix and Obelix. This is hateful. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna run this through soap and water. I'll be right back. I did my best, should be good. I really need to try and scrape off all that gunk off my desk. Well, right now I am struggling with gunk on my desk because of a cheap dollar store sticky pad. And I just learned that uh, well, I just learned, I learned this morning that uh, Albert Riderso died last night. Not exactly thrilled, to say the least. Asterix has been a big, big part of my life. I'm French-Canadian, so of course, Asterix, in my case, is surprisingly a Christmas tradition at my house seeing as they play the animated movies yearly on uh, Tele-Quebec as part of the Cinecado lineup oh, Kitty just joined us, hello Kitty and even if I replied to Coco, I forgot to welcome Coco, so hello Coco. And uh, thank you, Kitty. Doing my best despite my current mental state. say it's been harder to get up lately.
You know what they say, the show must go on and all that. Those wondering why I have his hand like that, he's got it on the hilt of his sword. For those who don't remember, Asterix does have a little sword. Thank you for the hugs, Coco. Here comes everybody's favorite part. Hope you guys can hear the music. I put it louder, but you guys know I'm not really that fond of loud music. <clears throat> oh, that's right, I have tea. Oh dear. Not my favorite, but it's good for the trope. I'm not sick. Just been doing a lot of breeding exercises today, so my throat was a little dry. So yeah, as I was saying, <laughs> so we're just going to erase the happy little pencil lines so we can then apply the happy little liners and the happy little copic markers Seeing Asterix, big part of my childhood. I am from the current main collection, as in the actual albums and not the hors série. I am missing two books to have the entire collection. And my first Asterix book was literally the first Asterix, the number one. And it's in deplorable condition, but in my defense, I received it like that. It belonged to uh, Mammy's mom. Uh, my great-grandmother, Victoria. Okay, where are my liners? here's the thing with my liners they're chameleon liners which means I can uh, blend them but the thing is I never use them to blend I just use them as regular liners because unlike my uh, Stadler liners they don't melt along with the Copics But I gotta be careful with how much I put because they will want to eat through the paper. Through no fault of the paper because it's actually very good quality. Uh, I don't think they have dust jackets. Here's the thing. Uh, let me see if I can go and grab one. 
because I realize that these comics are different. Ah, got one. Hopefully I can put it back when I'm done. Here's the thing with Asterix and all, mostly all European comics that the Americans may not be aware of. They are these giant hardcover albums. So they don't usually come with dust jackets. My, all my Asterix are like that, all my Tintins. Uh, I have an Achille Talon somewhere that I can see from here, that's nice. They're pretty much all like that. The albums that I have, because I know Mom didn't throw them out, they're probably in the attic somewhere, that are more like uh, pocket size or stuff like that would be the uh, Pif Hercule, the Place des Museaux, mostly known as Pif Push, stuff like that. Marianne just joined us. Hello, Marianne. I'm drawing some shit in English. Oh, that's possible. There's some uh, different types of print. Like, I have a, a soft version of the... Uh... Am I gonna say it? Choose your own adventure. There you go. Featuring uh, Gudzurix, whatever his name in English is. It's in one of my long boxes. It's possible it was also an activity book. But uh, quote unquote normal Asterix are usually the giant hardcover albums. But it wouldn't surprise me if they were like printed. Uh, like you said, because they started as newspaper type comics in the Pilot Journal, I think. Well, it kind of had to be the Pilot Journal, seeing as uh, Gossini created the Pilot Journal. What am I looking for? Blues. I'm looking at my blues for the helmet. Light blue, but not too light. There we go. I also have a bunch of uh, special edition albums. None of the like three hundred dollars uh, special ones. Just uh, stuff that was made by other people, like uh, Obelix is his ami, I think. Um, not to be confused with Obelix et Compagnie, which is an actual album. I also have L'Historique d'Asterix. And I believe I would like to have... Uh, Comment Obelix est tombé dans la potion magique quand il était petit. I 
also happen to have the movie album of uh, Les Douze Travaux d'Astérix, which was the first Asterix movie not to be based on an album. The second being Le Secret de la Potion Magique, which came out like two years ago, I think. And the first one was like in 1975 or something. <laughs> If there's one thing I learned about all this, is that people are not receptive to change. Because I've also been collecting since Uderzo stopped drawing the, uh, the further Asterix adventures drawn by Didier Conrad. And with every album, people have been complaining about some stuff and... If you look back when Gossini, di, Gossini, di, voyons, Gossini first died, people have been on Uderzo's back for years about his stories because Gossini w would write and Uderzo would draw. And then suddenly Gossini died and Uderzo was left alone with Asterix. And people went nuts. They were like, the stories are weak, and stuff like that. And now with DDA and uh, Ferry, I think the writer is called. People were like, they don't know how to handle Asterix, they don't know how to draw him, they don't know how to write him, and that's not what he would do. And I'm like, call your tits. Seriously. <laughs> like, chill. Of course it's not like Gossini and Uderzo. They're not Gossini and Uderzo. The art... Like, the, the one thing that really bothers me about uh, Conrad's art, the one thing is that he draws... Um, whatever the hell her name is in English, Ms. Ms. Uh, Ashkananix, the wife of the old, 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 old guy, he draws her differently. As in, he decided to give her some freckles and he made her eyes younger. Because what Uderzo used to do is that he would draw his woman really vamp-like and I got used to that with her. And Didier decided to make her look even younger with the freckles. And now it's just creepy. But, like I said, it's his choice. It's not like I'm gonna go on Twitter and give him crap about it. Because at the end of the day, it's not that important. He already, he's already getting enough crap already, for nothing. Art is art, and art is subjective. He doesn't need me on top of everything to give him crap over that. It's ridiculous.
If anybody's curious, yes, I'm still replaying Dragon Quest XI. Kind of stalling for time because I'm at a point where I know what's coming, and I'm like, no. But this time I'm so much stronger because I know what I'm doing. Like, compared to my previous playthrough, I died only once, and it was due to some horrible luck, instead of me being under level and not knowing what I had. Yeah, that's the thing, uh, Coco, I just uh, noticed your comment. Uh, Didier is literally trying his best to imitate Uderzo's style. It's just that one character that he decided should look like she's 16 for some reason. <laughs> because all the other ones, they look like they're supposed to look. But at the same time, no matter how much you try to imitate an art style, sometimes... Your hand will show up. And you try, and you try, and you try. It's not so bad as long as you can recognize the character. At least that's what I tell people when they say, Oh, I can't draw, look at this! Oh, it's this character! You can tell? Well, if I can tell, it's not that bad, is it? That I can't understand. And we go back to my complaint about uh, Miss Ashken and Nix. Because at the base, it's still the same character. She has the same hairstyle, the same clothes, the same uh, body type. It's just her face. I don't know why they decided to do that to her face. I said art is subjective, so it's really not the end of the world.
Like, there are worse things to worry about than somebody's face. go for a great <sighs> get my toner tree Toner six, it is. What you say, five? Yes, I did. There we go. All right, next character.
Because this, this is the thing, even if you're doing fan art, you want to understand how the character works. So that's why even if you have reference right next to you, you want to do the construction lines anyway. That once you get that, you can do some variations. And it'll still look okay. Because you got the construction down. That's nice. For the first time ever, somebody on Periscope commented. So first of all, uh, hello Samir, assuming I'm pronouncing that right, if not, I apologize. And uh, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. And yeah, kitty, I am known for my speed. I may not be the best artist out there, but if there's something I do have, it's speed. I should make a ball. There we go.
I know mom will be happy to see these. Whether she knows that Uderzo is dead or not, she's always a big fan of Asterix too. Now it comes to everybody's favorite part. Oh! We have another comment on uh, Periscope. Uh, Vaparujo is saying nice. Well, thank you. So this is like the opposite of a cursed uh, live stream. Sound is working. The uh, streaming is working and I'm actually getting comments today. That is absolutely lovely. Pay no attention to the tone of my voice. I am literally happy that I'm getting comments and for the first time ever comments on Periscope. So thank you very much, I appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure, Vaparujo. You'll have to forgive me because I tend to look over here to my computer screen to check the comments instead of going over my phone to read them up close. <laughs> and uh, thank you for watching, Vaparujo. Uh, that's the thing, I don't think I received any uh, emails about that from uh, my ISP. Though they did try to get me to change my phone for, an, uh, for a uh, Samsung one again, so... You know, they got priorities and all that. I like my phone. Leave me finish paying it, please! Thought I left it up, guess I didn't. Let's get it back. Oh, that's nice. And that's the thing, Coco. Uh, there is a notification on my uh, Restream app tell me that they're struggling with uh, YouTube today. I'm glad it's working well for me. As we all remember what happened during the Mario stream. Oh my god. Oh lordy. I'm glad this one is going well and that I'm entertaining people.
For those recently joining us, I am using Chameleon Liner Pens as liners because they don't melt with my Copics. I'm going to leave you up here this time. Where's... There you are. As far as boredom go, I don't really get bored. Because I'm used to being by myself most of the time. I don't go out to start with, so... I've always found ways to entertain myself, to say the least. Like, I have this huge video game co collection, and I, I play like the same five. <laughs> Like Riel joined us while I wasn't looking. Hello, Riel. And I'm glad you like my Obelix. I drew Asterix earlier, and uh, if people still want to watch me draw, I might draw more characters after Obelix. We'll see when we get there. You know, it's a little bit hard to uh, mimic a uh, brush drawing with a liner. <laughs> well, it looks like we have a request. <laughs> Fine, I'll do get a fix after Obelix, I promise. <laughs> Oh yeah, just changing the angle of the eyelid that... Now it's Obelix! <laughs> just cause I said I would draw others. You're, you kind of demanded get a fix! <laughs> I'll draw get a fix. <laughs> Where did I put my black copic? There it is. Right next to my right next to my white Posca. Because of course. <laughs>
clean up his nose. I don't mind leaving sketch marks when I draw uh, on my sketch cards, but uh, I would appreciate if his nose was clean, you know? Oh, we got another request. Okay. Get a fix first, then dogmatics. I don't mind, it's the middle of the day. I don't have any chores to do. If you guys are enjoying this, then I'll keep doing it until I drop or it's supper time, whichever comes first. So let's see. It's almost four, so we got time, we got time. my good red. I have a good red. This is my good red. you guys can hear the music. If not, put your own. No, but seriously, if we're live, at the moment I'm saying this and you can't hear the music, tell me, so I put it louder. If this is the... Uh, YouTube archive that you're watching later, put your own because I can't retroactively raise the music. <laughs> Super. That's good, that's good, that's good.
Yes, I am doing it to memory for him. Because I learned about his passing this morning. So, of course, I couldn't not do something seeing as Asterix is such a big part of my childhood and my life. What kind of comic artist would I be if I didn't do something to honor his memory? Just gonna grit your teeth and carry on. Thank you very much. Tim Twain is saying hello from Switzerland. Well, hello from Canada, Tim Twain. Glad you could join us. I hope you enjoy what I'm drawing. That's a, that's a big question. I'm just gonna finish Obelix here and uh, hanging up so we can get to get a fix and then I'll answer you. 
Holy crap. Woof, that was loud. Sorry about that. Seeing, I am totally biased. Seeing as I grew up with uh, the animated uh, movies. So, if I absolutely have to pick, I will say that my favorite Asterix movie is uh, Asterix uh, Chez les Bretons. I am a big fan of Jolly Thorax. He makes me laugh every time. The best Asterix movie, in my opinion, uh, I believe, because my favorite and the best are two different movies, actually. The best one, in my opinion, would be Les Douze Travaux. And finally, the best live-action one is definitely, hands down, the second one, uh, Mission Cléopâtre. Because it was freaking funny, okay? Absolutely funny. Uh, Les Douze Travaux is obviously the Twelve Tasks of Asterix, and Chez les Bretons, uh, I think in English it's called Goes to Britain, and the Britons, something like that. But you want... The, the animated one, not the live-action one. I didn't watch the live-action one, but once I found out that they turned Jolly Torax from a British to Scottish, I was like, I can't. That's that's where the line was. Like I don't think I even I've watched, but I don't think I've even owned uh, Asterix uh, at the Olympic Games live action. I didn't enjoy that one as the as much as the second one, but I really enjoyed the Caesar and Brutus segments in it. There we go, got a reference. At this rate, I'm gonna have to take out my, uh, my pencil extender. Yeah, seeing as I like, I grew up with the animated ones, and there's more animated ones. I like the animated ones more, at least by percentage, because I like, in the live-action ones, I like two of the movies. And I didn't even watch uh, the fourth one yet. Now, I know I did say that the best one was uh, probably the 12 tasks, but there's something about Asterix and Cleopatra, the animated one, that is absolutely priceless, and it's the songs. <laughs> never watched any of them in English. I've watched them in the original French, you know, the correct language. And <laughs> I'm teasing. The one in, oh, the America one is more uh, recent. Well, recent, 1985, I think. 
And the one with Cleopatra. Yeah, th the one with Cleopatra, the cartoon one with Cleopatra, that's the one with all the good songs. More news. There's one thing we can't resist, Mom and I, is uh, singing the uh, Putting a Larsenic song whenever it comes on. Which is the best song ever in the history of songs. <laughs> which is the one thing we were sad about because uh, the first time we saw the live action Mission Cléopâtre, we were just waiting for that scene. And then when uh, Amon Bonfils said, c'est du gâteau, mom and I in the car, because it was at the drive-in, back when we had one, we were like, and then the next scene, and the cake pulls up, no song, nothing, and we were like, BOO! <laughs> it was still a good movie, we were just so disappointed. <laughs> to watch it in English, so... Oh, I don't doubt it. But like I said, I'm from Quebec, so everything is French. I do have like one or two panels in English in my uh, Historic of Asterix book showing when uh, they changed some stuff because some gags wouldn't translate well in English. Um, like there's a part where in French Asterix needs to get a wheel change on his cart and in French the it was a uh, little gall French mascot changing for him but in the English version they drew over him the uh, Michelin man
should be able to find some pages online. I mean, it's the internet. There's some websites that like to put out some samples before you buy. So you're bound to find some. Am I still in the shot? Okay. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, Davis just joined us. Hello, Davis. And uh, thank you. I mean, it's not like I have all the books. I'm missing two. <clears throat> Therefore, I'm doing a homage uh, live stream today. Thank you, Harlow. Hope she's not going to criticize the coloring too much, seeing as this is mostly beard and uh, get a fix has a white beard, white hair, white clothes, white eyebrows. <laughs> Well, that's great. Thank you, Ronan. I am drawing Asterix characters, which might be books they might enjoy if they get sick of lions. And I can say whatever I want, Davis. You can't fire me. <laughs> you need a colorist. One thing I do appreciate is that Uderzo decided to leave Asterix to a new set of artists instead of taking him with him in his grave.
I really appreciate that. So that other people can continue his adventures. No, why? That's how they, that's how they work. They just start out pale. That's why I uh, I go over them a couple of times. Trust me, if I was running out of ink, you would hear the difference. And I don't mean it would be squeaking. Because, you see, the thing with chameleon liners is they're meant to blend. There's a second ink cartridge in here so that if I take another color and put it in, they would seep into the nib and I would ha I could work with several different colors in a line. That's why they start out pale. I only go over them to make them darker. They're made to blend. But no, I'm not running out of ink anytime soon. These are still pretty much brand new. Yeah, something would be squeaking. The pen, the paper, my patience. <laughs> Besides, I'm trying to work with the pens like they're brush nibs, so I would be going over my lines anyway. I'm glad you like it, Rio. I wasn't kidding when I said these characters are part of my childhood, so... 
I may know a thing or two about drawing them. I'm not the best, of course, but... They're more familiar to me than most of the, the requests I've been asked over the years. in a bit. Well, we all have our favorite characters. I mean, I can't understand that. He is also a very, very nice type of person. Really grandpa material. He can be mischievous when he wants to. He's young at heart in a way. here up a little bit.
There you have it for get a fix. Thank you. And I believe the next one what, was requested as a dogmatics. So let's get to him. Just gonna go and get a re reference, of course. Even if you know the characters, it's always good to have reference on hand. Even for your own, sometimes I need to pull out a reference when I'm drawing taco. him a little bit. There we go. That was fast. Oh, this is loud. A little loud for me too. Hang on. Oof. I don't know why they're not playing all at the same volume. I mean, it's all the same program. Oh, it's okay. Uh, there'll be an archive on the YouTube later if you want to see the entire thing. Well, there should be. Because my restream program says they're having trouble with YouTube, and so far so good, I didn't have any trouble. <laughs> and thank you for saying I'm good, I appreciate that. Usually I live stream on Sundays at uh, 1 p.m. The sketch, the construction sketch, very important. I start all my drawings like that. If she ever feels like drawing, she should start that way too.
Once again, thank you very much, Mary Marianne. I hope I'm not missing any comments. When I start drawing and I'm really focused, I can be gone for a while. Real's probably gonna. I got my get it fixed. I can leave now. <laughs> Teasing as usual. I think it's super cute. Of course I'm gaze because, well, it's dogmatics. The little dog that could it used to be just like a background character in his first appearance, but then he got popular. It's kind of true. Personally, I think he looks more like Asterix because of his eyes, but his master is actually Obelix. And they're great contrast for each other, just like Asterix and Obelix are great contrast for each other. Because Dogmatix and Asterix are both really tiny with large eyes. Plus in the later years, Dogmatics got more and more dog-like instead of cartoony-like in his proportions, which makes him even more adorable. Of course, everybody's favorite part. Oh. Apparently Facebook got sick of me. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop the live stream and start it back in like three seconds. Be right back.
There's a time limit on live streams on Facebook, so... And I'm back. Some of you might need to refresh, stuff like that. Twitch is still struggling, but YouTube is still on. Hello again, Davis. Facebook got sh sick of my shit, so I had to uh, reboot, if only to continue to stream on Facebook. After that, if there's no more requests, I'm going to uh, stop the live stream. We got four cards in today, so that's pretty good. Yep, yeah. you're right. I just saw four viewers on uh, Facebook, so. Uh, Usually I uh, put them up for sale. Colored ones are $15 Canadian. Monochromes, black and white, are $10 Canadian. Like, unless I really specify it, most of my cards are for sale after I'm done with them. Uh, like during the live stream from hell, the Mario live stream, I made three cards and I sold the uh, Paper Mario card. Uh, my Inktober cards from every year are for sale. Uh, there was one card for one of the Marker universe that I'm keeping for myself, the Silvando card. But like. A good 90% of my cards are for sale. Yes, you should. As you can see, I draw very fast, I'm very good, and I'm a colorist. Have you seen the colors in Auric? I'm the one that do them, and I'm very, very good. Yeah, it's true, my cards do pop up on eBay. I think I have four right now. Oh, Andrew just joined us. Hello, Andrew. You're at the tail end of things. This is the fourth card, and if there's no more uh, request, asterisk based requests, I will stop for uh, for the day. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> if you want to get a fixed one, I can reserve it for you, no problem. Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> I slipped. <laughs> I mean, the Auric Comic won, like, how many prizes do we have now? Three or four? Like, a quarter 
or a third of those is thanks to me. So I'd like to think I'm a little bit good. <laughs> Of course, everybody is like, ooh, Andrew, and ooh, David. <laughs> oh, that's great. Good. I love when uh, uh, kids want to draw. And if I can help, then all the better. We got four? Okay. Damn right, I rock. Well, I try at least. <laughs> An effort is being made. <laughs> I also have prices for comic page. Everything, all the information is available on my hub, which is on my link tree. And I believe my price are fair because you also pay for patience. Guaranteed that I always give my 100% when I draw. You're not getting anything half assed. Pierre just joined us. Hello, Pierre. And Kitty joined us again because of the hiccup we had earlier. This is the last drawing for this live stream unless somebody has a uh, another Asterix-based request. Today is only Asterix-based asterix requests. I've already done Asterix, Obelix, and Getafix. And I am doing Adafix slash Dogmatics. Hey, hey, you stay up there, you. Hey, 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 hey. My head is not in the way. Well, it doesn't look like it. voice acting there.
I mean, if you love doing something, you end up getting decent at it, whether you're doing it on purpose or not. If I can inspire somebody to draw, then that that makes me happy. Of course, getting paying jobs also makes me happy. <laughs> Oh man, take pictures, Davis. I want to see them. Uh, oh, that's way too blue. Oh dear lord. Now I'm gonna go with my uh, powder blue again, seeing as I drained my baby blue and my ice blue. See, th this is why I like to mention that I'm always open for commissions and stuff like that. <laughs> because I, I don't really have refills for some of my colors. <laughs> and I kind of need some. I just got a photo. I'm gonna go and look at it. Ah! <laughs> I love it. He needs his little tongue. I'm gonna give him his little tongue. Got one splash of color on this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put a little wash of yellow in the back. Just so he pops up better. So I gotta be careful not to nick the black because it's black copic and that will blend with the yellow. And I don't want that happening. See what I meant? Look at it.
And there we go. We got a dogmatics. And since uh, there are no more requests, I believe not. Yeah. I believe we're good. Let me check my other comments. All right, super. Oof. That was getting a little loud for me. So let's take one last look at all the cards I did today. So we have in order Asterix, Obelix. Hang on, I'm going to close this and I'm going to... Whoops, the other way. I'm going to zoom out. Get a fix. And Dogmatics, Asterix, Obelix, Panoramix, et Idefix. Uh, not bad. Not bad if I do say so myself. So I'm going to hang them back up, leave them dry, as I usually do. And, uh, of course, if you like my stuff, I have a Patreon or a coffee that you can subscribe to. Well, you can subscribe to the Patreon. I can't go on Coffee Gold yet because I don't have the money. <laughs> For monthly stuff. And, um, Riel, your uh, get a fix is uh, reserved, so don't worry about that. And uh, we'll talk later in private because that's in the rules that I post at the beginning of the live stream to try and avoid weirdos. <laughs> So as usual, at the end of my live stream, I'd like to thank my uh, patrons, Dancy and Marianne J, for their continued patronage in these trying times. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope you had fun watching me draw. I know I had fun drawing these. And I'll see you guys next time. Usually next time should be on Sundays at uh, 1 p.m. But then it'll depend if somebody else dies and I feel bad again. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.